In this video I will be silently installing Google Drive and I will use PSExec to execute the installation as a system account and the main reason for that is that I want to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy it. And if you want more information about that you can check out the video that I have here. Also as you can see I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I will begin this video by downloading Google Drive and I will use the link that I have here. And it brings us to the support page of Google Drive. If I scroll down a bit, we have this big blue button uh, with download now. And if I click, it should start the download for us. Also, there is a very useful information here about the silent switches that this installation file supports. So if you're you're interested you can read about it but now i will go to my downloads folder and as you can see we have our executable here and because i will be using a virtual machine to install this application i will copy this executable go to vmware workstation and i will paste in the executable into my software folder where i have psexec executable also and the next step for us is to open a command line so for that i will go to my start menu type cmd and then I will click run as administrator click yes and now we want to change our directory in our command line to the directory where we have our files so for that I will click here and copy the link then I will type cd paste in the link and if I do there we see our executables here and like I said I will be performing this installation as a system account so for that I will uh, use psexec to start another command line and for that I will type psexec.exe minus i for interactive minus s for system account and then cmd and I will agree with the license terms and we have new command line but now if I type who am I I can see that I'm anti-authority system basically everything that I do in this command line I am doing as a system account. So once more we want to change the directory to the directory where we have our files. For that I will type cd, paste in the directory. I will double check by typing there and I see my executables here. Next step is to launch the installation and for that I will go to my github page. And here we have the command that I will be using for this video. As you can see I'm starting with cmdc. And this is not necessary, but I always use it to see when the installation is finished. To have an indicator to see when the installation is finished. Next goes uh, the executable name. Then we're providing the parameter silent. And this is the main parameter that makes this installation a silent installation. Then we have another parameter skip launch new. Here I'm basically saying that I don't want to launch Google Drive after the installation. And we surely don't want to do that when we are installing under the system account. And the last one is G Suite shortcuts false. Basically, this here I'm saying that I don't want any G Suite shortcuts on my desktop after the installation. So now I will copy this command. Then I will go back to my VMware workstation and then I will paste in the command in my command line and click enter. Now we just need to wait uh, for the installation to finish. And it seems that it's done. Now if we go to our start menu, click all apps, scroll down a bit, we have our Google Drive here. And if I click on it, it seems to run just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Google Drive using Group Policy. So like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one.